Okay. What I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna do something I tried on looked online and I saw it. I'm always trying to do some stuff, so I'm gonna try and do this today. So first, we're gonna start off with a cotton t-shirt, a black one at that. And you say, Lynette, what are you gonna really do with this black cotton t-shirt? We're gonna see what we're gonna do with that in just a minute. I got some regular paper. Ba -ba -ba Boom. I got some DTF transfer film. What? Why do I have that? And I have some DTF powder for printing. And you say, what are you getting ready to do? Well, I'm getting ready to use my sublimation ink and my computer down there to try something that I heard. And we're going to see if it works out. I've been hearing all this stuff about this working, so I want to see if it works. So I'm going to um, put to the test the printing of a shirt, of, of a design on DTF transfer film with sublimation ink and sprinkle the powder on it and then put it on a shirt um, 380 degrees for 40 seconds. And that's what I have it set for, 380 for 40 seconds. I got this from um, Crystal on Undesign um, Bundle. She did a cold pill and a hot pill. Her hot pill seemed to work out better. So um, let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take um, a regular sheet of paper. Now, I don't know anything about, I just... Um, found any type of product none of these products have i ever used before do i know what they are or anything i just knew i could get them overnight and i got them to me overnight so i'm basically i'm going to take this dtf film i'm going to take this dtf film and tape it to a regular sheet of paper yep and then i'm going to put it in the tray um, for my printer, set that at eight and a half by eleven, and get that in there. And then we're going to print out our already, you know, uh, picked out a design, right? So I'll show you the design. There's my design I already picked. I'm going to put this on a black shirt. Um, I got this design from Creative Fabrica. Um, I have a membership with them so um i got that and here's my settings for my thing um i do have it on mira and i have it for eight and a half by 11 paper you can go up to printer properties as you can see letter bright um i do a print preview because i always want to look and see what it looks like i always check my settings to make sure I have mirror image on. I never, ever, ever, never, ever, ever print without checking to make sure my paper's right, my print preview, preview is on, because that's a fail safe. That's one that um, if something's not right, I'll see that, you know, before that um, is actually done. So those are my settings, and that is the image, Wild About Fall. Um, I did this, I downloaded it, and then I just put it in PowerPoint. PowerPoint is, works easy for me, so. All right, so, let's get that taped up. Let's go. Okay, right in here it says print side. So, when you open it up, the print side is facing you. It's basically what they're telling you, the print side is facing you. So, I have that, and then I'm going to go ahead and attach that to that. And then we're going to slide it in. And the print side is a little rougher than the other side. It's a little rougher. You can kind of feel the difference. Okay, so here's the deal. I got the tape on there, right? But the paper is not the same size paper. You see that as this? And I think I kind of taped it slightly crooked. I don't know if my computer, my printer is going to take that. I have to take that. And just take a little bit on there 
And we're going to see. I'm going to cut the tape off the sides. I'm going to see if my um, computer, my printer will even pull it. We'll see. We'll see. Now, I told you there was a size difference there. You see that? So, I'm setting it up as an A4. I got the paper in there. We're going to see if that's going to work, huh? We'll see if it'll pull it. See if this will work. I'm going to take the sublimation printer and ink and print that image I showed you previously. Then we're going to take that powder and shake it on the image. Yep, shake it on the image. Leave it on there a few seconds. And then, you know, knock off the excess, excess powder. Put it back in there. Put it on this shirt. And we're going to see if we rock and rolling. this. Okay, we're going to print in just a second. But first, we got to prep our shirt, right? Got to prep our shirt. We got to I do this, and especially for me, this is one of the black shirts I had around the house. And, um, and then we protect it so I know it's linty. And uh, it was hanging in the hallway. And it's dusty out there. Okay, so we've done that. We have to make sure we do this. Then, once we get our shirt on here, we're going to go ahead and press it. Because we want to take out any moisture. This is a size medium. Trying to get it set up on here properly. I didn't go through the thing of, you know, measuring the middle right there. Um, well, I got not have a little thing of wetness on there. I don't know what that is, but like I said, you make sure. You use your lint roller. Mm -hmm. I won't be going to four forty seconds. Just a few seconds because I just want to take any moisture that's in. I'm not even locking it all the way down because I just want to get some of the moisture out. If there's any moisture in there, it's going to be out. Okay. So. That's all ready to go. Now check it out. I have to come here, guys, and change the paper type. Remember, I changed it over there to A4. So I have to change it here, right? Plain paper, bright white. I said high quality plain paper. So that's what I said over there. So I'm doing here. Um, I have print preview. I changed my paper type. Let's go over here and make sure. It's on mirror image. It's on high speed. Oh, well, it can be. I didn't ask it to be, but let's see. Why not? So, let's say, okay. We're ready. I'm hoping it'll print that paper. There's my preview. All ready to go. Look at that. All ready to go. Let's. Printers make a noise. Of course, it's not going to print. I have to go and see what this is. always going to be something. Let's go see what it is. I was waiting to see if it popped up on the screen, but it didn't. Minor. My cassette's not in, it says. Let's see if that does it. The 
pretty. Okay. Okay. So now, you saw that. I gotta work fast. I didn't have this open. Okay. Sprinkling the powder on it. That's what it said do. So I did it. Now, that little piece over there is extra ink. But we're going to see if this works. Okay. So, let's dump it all off onto this paper. What is it looking like? Oh, that's what I got. You see the stuff on it? And I guess it's stuck to everything. Now, the real thing is what it's going to do on my shirt right we'll clean that mess up but i want to get that black piece off of there hold on because i don't want to do this and then that's going to be on there we don't want that do we so hang tight okay now i ain't gonna lie i don't know how this is gonna come out on this black shirt you know what i mean i really don't know how these dark colors, would this really stand out on this black shirt? I know it's a, a lighter color. This is really a really big experiment for me and to whether or not this is going to come out on this shirt. I have the black and will that stand up to that? I'm almost scared to put it on this shirt. I almost want to put it on a different color shirt like an orange shirt or something i'm scared to test it out on this black um forget it i'm testing it on the black that's what i'm that that's the whole thing right to test it on the black to see how this works don't move it i got it there um i can tell i don't need to move it that's where it's going to be um I have a Teflon sheet. I'm gonna put over it. Um, yeah, we're gonna see. Moment of truth. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? I'm ready. Moment of truth, baby. It's going to pop open. It looks mighty dark, guys. I don't know. But here we go. Here we go. She said hot peel. That ain't peeling, guys. I can tell you right now. That ain't peeling. That looks too hot. I did what she said. I don't think it's doing it, guys. This ain't doing it. Uh, I think it's going to be a fail. I don't think it's going to work. Maybe it's still too hot. I don't know. 
that don't look too good right there. Look like it smeared the stuff. Um, guys, I don't know. It's coming up. Maybe looks dark. Should I put it down one more time? Hmm. You're about to find out. I did it again, guys. I don't, I mean, I don't know. Um, this may be the fail. This may be a fail, guys. But we don't know until we try. That's not, that's not sticking at all. That's not sticking at all. Not sticking at all. Warm pill, cold pill. I don't think it's gonna work. Taking it away. Um, maybe I didn't get the right side of the paper. You know. But I mean. I was like that was a stick side. But uh tried it on a black shirt. It's cool enough. not sticking to the shirt here this is um this is a cold pill now and nothing wait a minute wait a minute i think it may be working let's see i'm doing the cold pill partially hmm well It didn't really, maybe it needed to be hotter or something. Because you see how it's looking. Some of it's down, some of it's not. I'm doing the cold peel. So, look at that. That did not work. Maybe if I would have did it on something else, um, maybe it would have worked. Um, yeah, you can feel the film <sighs> kind of went on there. Um, I can see where it wanted to work, but it couldn't work. It can't work on black, obviously. Um, it couldn't get that color transferred. You can see it somewhat. Um, I'm going to have to try it on something white. Um, as we see, it kind of, the colors didn't all transfer. Um, maybe it needs to heat longer um, for the colors to come. So, I'll go over this with some vinyl or something. Uh, but you can see it tried. You can see some of the detail. But, um, yeah. I gotta go back to the drawing board on that. But it tried it. It tried it. It tried it. Not to worry. I got an orange shirt. So, we're gonna try it on the orange shirt. We're gonna do the same image. I'm gonna reprint. Do the same thing I did. 
put this powder back in there, sprinkle that powder on there. Yeah, we're going to try it again. We're going to try it on the orange shirt. Same image, orange shirt, right? Let's go. You know the drill. Get your shirt on there, right? Lint roller. Roll that sucker. Come on, get all that lint off of there. I don't get any more gloves, but let's get this on here. I don't know if I did it on the right side. Let's get this powder on here. So I don't know how much powder I'm supposed to put it on. I just cover it. I didn't say, you know, you leave it on there like 5, 10, 15 seconds, 20 seconds or whatever. But I'm leaving it on there so it uh, definitely adhere to the design. I don't think it needs much. And then take it. Kind of tap it off. Right. Alright. Powder. I don't want to get too much off. Uh oh. Hold on. Okay, I dumped the powder off. I cut a little corner off that had a little dark spot. So we're going to see how this look on the orange shirt. All right? We're going to do a cold peel. And once we lay it, we don't move it because the powder moves. That's what it is. Right there. After it dropped, put my Teflon over it. Forty seconds at three eighty. Let's hope this works. Let's see. I like the way that looks. I hope it comes out looking like that on the shirt. That would look pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to do a cold peel. That I know. Based on what I did last time. I'm not going to do a hot peel. Not even going to try and pull it up. But I like the way it looks so far. Okay, so. Now it's cool. It's not cold, but it's cool. We saw what happened over here um, with that on the black. And that was a cold peel. And you see all this little uh, around the side. It didn't come. So we hoping we don't have the same thing with this. Couldn't do a hot peel. But looks like it's going to work. Let's, let's go.
Okay. We got a lot off. On a white shirt, it would really pop. I can tell. You know, I plopped it where I plopped it on the shirt. Could have been up higher, but I don't want to reposition. So that's what we got on the orange shirt. This is what we got on the orange shirt. Let's see. How does it feel? Actually feels pretty good. You can kind of see it has a texture to it, right? You can kind of see it has a texture. But it's lightweight. It's not like vinyl. Um, I'll try it again on white. Um, maybe not tonight. <laughs> you know, I do have white. I don't have white cotton. I have white sublimation. But do know, this was cotton, guys. This is white cotton. So definitely a false shirt I can wear. My image would be larger. Um, yeah, but it worked on the orange shirt, the orange on the orange, and yeah, I'm confident a white shirt, it would have really looked good, and then you're like, well, you know, I mean, I did it with sublimation, um, I don't know if I do it longer could i get more vibrant color would it pull more out i don't know because the powder gets the ink right the powder gets the ink i don't know but there you go I don't think that was on the right side. on the white shirt this time. Let's see what's up. Okay, white shirt. I let it sit on there longer. Gotta get the moisture out. Okay, white shirt. I got the board in it because I don't want it to bleed through. Um, so that's why you see the cardboard. I had to cut some of that off. So let's see. It's the only white shirt I have. Is this? The only one I have, so where it goes, it goes, right? There we go. Man, it fell sideways, guys. And I know that powder, if I move it, I'm going to try to move it. I can't have that like that. I don't think I have to do anything else so let's place it
I was on all that time. All right. On the white shirt. And guys, look. I forgot to put a thing on it. And look. Because I didn't do that, you see the color I have on there? I forgot last time to put it on there. And I didn't do it this time. And it was powder. And all that powder residue is on the shirt. Well, it was an experiment anyway, right? We're going to see how wide he is. Um, yeah, that was that powder. Remember I said I dropped it down here and I wasn't sure if I dropped it. And I wanted to leave it there because it was going to leave a spot. And so now we know. Left the shadow, but that's okay. We're getting ready to see what it is. It's still warm. But it comes out better on a white shirt. Um, you know, we did. I hate I dropped it, but I'm trying to come on and do a cool peel. Because I know we got to do a cool peel. A second explosion followed. But, you know, I guess the thing is, polyester shirts are more expensive than cotton shirts. This was a Dollar Tree shirt I got right here. That's why I really don't care. I've had it a while. Been, you know, keeping it for experiments. Okay, so this is just about cold. Let's see. Let's get our peel. I think it's cool enough to peel. Hands down and need air support ASAP. Over. There was a pause that seemed to last an eternity. Temper could picture Commander Dietrich, the squadron skipper in the tactical operations center, asking the SEAL air support coordinator for It didn't work right here, guys. You know why? It didn't work right there because of the um the cardboard. So I'm gonna take this cardboard out. Okay, I'm doing this again another 40 seconds because I had that cardboard in there and it made a crease in my design and I didn't want that crease in my design. So we back at it. Open. And I was able to put it down. I see where it was right in here. It's a little lighter because it was peeled off, but we're going to cool it and see how it does on white. We tried black, white, and orange. Still a little warm. Well, I don't know about the verdict that this is be something I'll do do. Um, yeah. We'll see. The seals were switching on their helmet mounted infrared strobes. Okay, it's peel. Starting when we did last time. Did it fix it? It fixed it. Okay, that's how much came off. And this is what I have. Um, this is because the powder hit it before, and that's what happened. So it left the residue, even though it felt like I couldn't see nothing. I should have brushed it or something. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Um, am I a fan? Like, oh, wow, this is going to be... The hottest new thing we got to do. Um, I can't say that. 
Can't say that. It's all right. But, huh, it ain't as vibrant as if I would have did the sublimation, you know. Uh, maybe it depends on your powder and your paper. But, I mean, it worked. It worked. That's what I can say. It worked. No.